All right. <clears throat> well, welcome to the shop again. Let me let me show you something I was just thinking about. What's your opinion on this? So I have this miter gauge, uh, strictly 90 from uh, Woodpeckers, or exact. I'm sorry, the exact 90 miter gauge. It's basically all you can do is cut a 90. It's not adjustable. It's, you could fine tune it just a little bit. Let me get this thing in. So what I'm wondering. is how to check that thing to be an exact 90 and uh, easily and I think I came up with a solution so or any actually any uh assuming we can do it with any miter gauge okay here's my idea um I have this the Wixley um the digital ang uh, angle gauge I'm sure everybody else has this thing but here's here's where I'm going with this so I set it on my fence I zeroed it. I don't know if you can see that, right? So it's zeroed right there. So this is my point of reference now. So now I took the miter gauge off. I set the miter gauge here. It's magnetic, which is kind of nice, right? That thing just sticks right there. Boy, it was 90 a second ago. Last time I checked, 89.9. 89.9. So, 90. There's my 90. It's, it's set up. You could probably do this. Like I said, um, why not do it with any miter gauge on any of the stuff you have? Let me set this down and try this other smaller one and see what problems we run into. Okay, so here's your basic miter gauge. Set it on there, as long as it's not hitting anything. I think it's hitting the table here. So that's not going to work on this this style with this fence. If I went off the edge of the edge of the table, let's see what we get. Okay, I'm zeroed. Boy, I got other problems in here. Well, this on here, right? You're just looking for a point of reference. Ninety point one. So I think that'll work. I don't know. Comment um, about that if you can. Tell me if I'm missing something or. But I just needed a way to set up some of my miter gauges rather than go through all kinds of other stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that. Talk to you in a bit.